Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. So I guess I've learned a new word. Rube or rub or something. But, uh, I didn't know that I was one. I have, uh, have just been insulted. Me and my gated community. What do I know about being a biker? A real biker. So lately, get some comments on the channel. I noticed there's a couple other older YouTubers uh, kind of getting the same treatment. Trying to hurt my feelings. But apparently, a rub or a rube. I can see it in print, I don't know how it's pronounced. Is a rich urban biker. Oh no. So apparently, you can't be a biker and have too much money. Someone, uh, I guess it's someone who decided later in life I got some money, there was a suburb, was going to buy me a Harley, and we become a biker. I don't inherently see anything wrong with that, but I don't know anyone like that. And I know a lot of bikers my age. Quite frankly, we, uh, every one of us has had a hard life. rich families or anything. But, uh, apparently, you know, you can't make too much money. Because it doesn't allow you to be a biker. Someone's got to make that clear for me. Because everyone I know, growing up, working on bikes is what, uh, let's just get this afloat the same. We all had crappy bikes when we were growing up. And, uh, I'm no exception. There's a couple other guys I know who grew up uh, with almost as hard a life as I did. And uh, I guess you can call them rubes too because they've made some. Look, I've made a I've made a really good life. It could be in uh, homeless and getting out there and just had a vision and went for it. Got very successful. But I've also been riding for 50 years, or actually more than that. But I don't know, uh, I don't know where this comes from. Yeah, I guess there's just a little bit of hate coming from the old, old bikers, old school bikers. But, uh, yeah, I ride a touring bike. I, I like the comfort. I've ridden everything else, too. And, uh, now that I'm older, I was able to spend some money on this. And, uh, take a little bit different path as far as traveling, being a biker. Now, I don't, I don't claim to be... I guess I'm a motorcycle enthusiast. Uh, I was a biker when I was younger, to the motorcycle club, of course we were all law enforcement, which I guess that's not really being a biker either, uh, but I've, I've ridden all over the west, in the Sturgis, this will be my 12th time I think, uh, this will be my 4th time going to Daytona, maybe 5th, and uh, I don't, I, I don't know what it is about making too much money. Because um, y'all got to make a living, right? It's just, uh, there's a lot of guys who think you have to be broke, live on the back of your bike. And, uh, hell, I've never judged anybody. Sometimes I think, Older bikers are more judgmental than some of these Harley haters. 
There's a lot of them out there too, by the way. Had a couple of guys who were just hating on my Harley. One called it a farting couch. So, uh, yeah, I guess there's a lot of opinions out there, which I don't, I don't judge anybody for what they ride or how much money they make. And hell, yes, I've earned the right to trailer up to Sturgis because I've ridden there so much. I'm old. I'll trailer whatever the hell I want to. This year, I'm actually trailering up to my friend's house in Colorado. Uh, we used to ride up there together from Colorado, so we're going to do that again this year. I'll leave the trailer at his house and we'll uh, ride up just like we used to. It's only about six and a half, seven hours up. And, uh, it's not a, not a horrible ride. It's nice. It's good. But, you know, I guess uh, there's a lot of opinions. But, uh, we just ought to leave each other alone. We're bikers, right? Or motorcycle enthusiasts. we got to support each other. No matter what. No matter if you make a blue collar guy or you're a banker or some guy who travels the world. I know another biker who makes a really great living. He's got a great YouTube channel. Not quite as old as me, but he travels all over the world. He makes a really great living, but I don't know. I'll have to ask him if uh, he's ever been called a rube, a rub, whatever the hell that is. So, because I know he makes a lot of money for what he does. He has a special skill that no one else has. So, he travels all over the world just because he's got that skill. I'm the same way. I've got a special skill that I've been all over the world with. But I work to support my bike habits. Anyway. Just my little uh, rant for the day. Hope everyone's doing well. I'll have a uh, video coming up about uh, getting ready for uh, Daytona.